You know that welcome picnic that you heard about? <laughs> That's what we're serving. Here we are. <laughs> I mean, people do eat it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Eat it? Yeah. That's why they're in danger. That's why I'm Well, it's one of the reasons. I hear they're quite good, actually. Yeah, people use the eggs to bake and stuff, too. Alright, so here's the tricky part. I had the hard part, right? Yeah. Okay, so here's the difference between land turtles and tortoises and sea turtles. Land turtles, if you wanted to cut open a land turtle, you would definitely need a straight-up bone saw. Um, but with sea turtles, since they dive in the water and they experience differences in pressure, they have a flexible layer that goes all the way around like this. And we can exploit that to easily get inside them to do a necropsy. Now, does anybody know what the biggest sea turtle species is? Any guesses? You may have heard of it. It's black and the size of a car. It's called a leatherback sea turtle. So they are called leatherbacks because they have a leathery back. And the reason they need that is because they are deep water divers. When you're diving real deep, real, real deep, the pressure is going to be immense on your body. And if you had a hard shell like this, you would just crumple. And that would be the end of it. So they have a very flexible shell. And since they're so big, they don't really have to worry about predators as much as these guys do. So they can afford to have that softer shell. You hear like fire pilots okay. and stuff, and they pull like 10 G's, right? Yeah. Well, this, that turtle he's talking about, like 50, 50 G's yeah. as it goes down. 50 gravities on your body. Smells. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's amazing that they can do that. So this is like, this is no formalin. This is no alcohol. This is... This is what it's like. This is the stuff. <laughs> You know, if you guys ever want to be uh, any sort of vet, pathologist, or anything like that. Yeah, somebody said vet. They said, there you go. Yeah? <laughs> this might be the day, that, <laughs> this might be the day you change your major. <laughs> no, I love this. You want to say it a little bit? Just get nose plugs, I'll be OK. Yeah. That's cheap. Come on. <laughs> Nobody will take you seriously. Did uh, you guys touch it and feel how hard it is? The shell? You can, you can touch it. Yeah, there's gloves back there on the uh, back bench there. I mean, you can also hear it. So this is, this is hard, but it's not. Did she have a name? No. <laughs> You can name it if you want. Her name is Morte. <laughs> <laughs> now you're just getting dramatic. Why don't we call her oh. Shelly? It's leaking up. Oh, yeah. It looks like there's a hole in that. Oh, shoot. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, yeah, see, this is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Smells like seafood. No, it does not. Where do you go to buy crab? Where do you go to get seafood, huh? Oh, no, no. Here, let's do this. Oh, why don't we, um... You don't... Okay, all right. It smells like rum. Yeah, and I can just kind of stuff it. Yeah. That's it, it smells fishy. All right, watch it. There's all the blood. That's the sense. Yeah. That's a good smelling one, actually. I'm telling you guys, this is like, it could be way worse. How long is it in the freezer? Well, it's been in the freezer. So, uh, it probably went in the freezer pretty quickly after it died. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, they can smell much worse than this. How many of you guys have in the freezer? Too many. Um, 8,000. No. <laughs> Spread across the state is probably about 100. Uh, we're getting to the point where we need to do a necropsy, which is one of the reasons I'm here today to lessen <laughs> that load. Um, okay. 
Just double tap the home button. You know, while they do, what's behind curtain number one? He's about ready to lift the curtain. Yeah, we're getting there. Do you want to lift the whole thing up? Or do you want to some quality pictures. Some quality pictures. Some quality pictures. <laughs> I got this. None of that Instagram thing. Instagram. Yeah. Your camera looks really good, though. What's behind number one? <laughs> It's really bad when these things are frozen or they have sand inside because that just dulls your knife. I never. It's a sharp knife. Well, it has to be. I don't think I should put this on my center. You will like. Right? <laughs> I put some of them on there, but um, the inside, I don't think I should. Put it on there. Oh, they don't see it. 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 Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, it's all right. Oh my God. What is this? All right. Ta -da! My phone is extremely like making the color look a lot brighter than it actually is. It looks like fresh paint meat. Yeah. So. Oh wait. Now, who studied their internal anatomy sheets? Yeah. Got a quiz, you guys. Well, all right. What muscles are these? I was kidding. Uh, Abdominal. There you go. There you go. These are the pecs. These are some big, strong pecs. They look good. So now I'm going to show you. You can touch it. You can touch it. If you want to. Yeah, you can touch it. <laughs> That's, that's very much what you feel like on the outside. So if you yeah, it's pretty it, much the same. Yeah, yeah. I feel like chicken meat. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. Um, who has clean hands and who wants to write stuff down for me? There's a form right there. <laughs> Pencils right there. All right. So obviously, you know, when they do all this, they take a whole bunch of data, right? Exactly. The joy of scientific work is paperwork. Tons, <laughs> tons of paperwork. So on the back of that sheet, so go ahead and flip that over. You can take it out of the clipboard if you want. Um, so these are the things that we're looking for. I got a little ahead of myself. First line is external. So we need to describe any external things we have with it. I won't flip it over because it's all open now. But you saw the hole on its mm -hmm. back. So that's something that we would definitely say about it. Um, you can say uh, looks like crushing wound on carapace or just hole in carapace and again sorry I got a little bit ahead of myself but we would measure it with a tape measure like that you know just go like that about five inches yeah. by six okay yeah can you show them how they do the measurement so, yeah sure so this is just your average tape measure uh, ignore the inch side inches do not exist in science right. no inches no pounds no feet, nothing like that. It's all centimeters. That's true. So you would just, let's say the hole's right there, and say there's a hole roughly uh, 10 by 17 centimeters. Don't write that down. That's fine. But I'm just showing you how it would be done. And uh, write that down. No other anomalies. That what are about like measuring the turtle itself? The carapace? Yeah. Right. Or, um, or the plastron. Um, sure. Uh, so for that, we mainly use the calipers. So you can hand those to me. I won't take a hand. So, these are calipers. You'll probably use these just a lot smaller than other things you do. Yeah. So we would say the size of the plastron is 56.9 centimeters. And we might write that down. Normally we care mostly about the carapace, the length of carapace, the width of carapace, and the width of head are all things that we can be interested in. Depending on what studies we're conducting, if we're looking at age, uh, growth, things like that. And did you say about how old you think this one is? Age is a funny thing with sea turtles. Um, well, based I, on food, right? Exactly. This guy knows herps, and that is one of the interesting things about herps. Correct me if I'm wrong, but mostly the size that they are and the sexual maturity that they are depends 
uh, not as much on age as it does food intake, right? right? Yep. So you can have a very small, very old turtle or snake um, if it just has not had great nutrition throughout its lifetime, or you could have a very large, very young turtle or snake if it has just had a feeding bonanza and uh, has not wanted for anything. So. Is this like a normal size? Yeah, so this would be, so uh, this is pretty adult. sure, no, I don't think this is adult. This is sub-adult. Yeah. Like a teenage turtle. Right, so you're looking, you're looking in the area of, <laughs> so in the area of about 20 years old would be a fair guess with this. About the oldest you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, so. Think about um, that. Give or take, you know, it could be more, it could be less. Um, so the next thing is internal, right? Or skeletal muscle and fat. So uh, there are three types of muscle. Anybody know what they are? You got your skeletal muscle, which is muscle that is attached to your skeleton. So that is all your lifting muscles, your pecs, your thighs, everything like that. So this definitely skeletal muscle. Then you have striated muscle, which is all in here. That's the stuff that moves food throughout your intestines and things like that. And then you have cardiac muscle, which is just your heart. So right now it's asking us about skeletal muscle. This is our best indicator of skeletal muscle. These big pecs, that's their biggest muscles. So that's what we go by. And so I would say that this looks good. So you can say muscle status good. That's really as, uh, as in-depth as we go, um, and red. The next thing we're looking for is fat. And so the reason green sea turtles are called green sea turtles is not because of their color, but actually because, like I said, people used to eat these guys. Mm -hmm. And when they'd cut them open, the real healthy ones have a ring of fat right here. And it's this yellow-green color because they eat kelp. And so most of the ones we see actually are not yellow green because they're dead, they died for some reason, uh, and that usually results, unless it was an immediate trauma like a boat propeller chopped their head off, um, it's gonna be something like this hole on its back probably cause it to have a prolonged death over the course of weeks or months. So whatever. it suffered? Probably a bit. Yeah, you can tell by that wound that it looked like it had healed partially. It wasn't just completely raw and open. So going with that, uh, this is what I would expect. That there is fat here, but it is dark and it is thin. So you would write dark, thin, fat. And I don't really have to be doing any of this for this guy. Um, he's one of the ones that's exempt for the necropsies that we have to do, but I'm just showing you guys what it's like to do an actual dissection on these animals. You like that sound? So is this fat, like, is it because it's like been in the freezer for almost three years? So it also has a small effect for three on years? It, so. yeah. Well, 2014, so hmm. it's getting there. So if everybody wants to barbecue tonight, there's a nice steak right there. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this makes being a vegetarian a lot easier. <laughs> stuff like this. I am, not for this reason, but, you know, like I said, doing this. What is that? Oh, all right, we'll get to that. Um, oh, it's still a little frozen, that's unfortunate. But is that food? Hmm? Is that food that he ate? No. All right, so here's the... How long have you been, like, following it? Yesterday morning? Yeah, you thought turkeys took a long time to walk. <laughs> yeah, he was just sitting in the kiddie pool full of water, and he's still... Yeah. Yeah. The the guts. That's when I got used to the smell. He cuts more. So what should the students do if they find a stranded turtle in distress? Call oh, the FWC hotline. And uh, you can just Google that. I'm pretty sure it's one 404 fwcc um, Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> They're never anywhere without their phones. So. Yeah, right. You can just <laughs> you, you can go and turtle FWC. And your your guys' kids will have the phone microchipped in the back of their head, so they won't even have to carry anything. 
Yeah. So we need to get these out of the way to get in the guts. That should be that. Just hold on to the bucket. Everybody step back. <laughs> you just chicken wing it. Turn it. Okay. That's cool. And it breaks all of the connective tissue. Get up top. Turn it down. Yeah. So just keep going around. Hey, this is the good meat right here, I guess, if you're. Really? Yeah. And it just comes right up. Let me add that uh, trash. Yeah, you just throw these things away when you're done. Uh, no, we like to bury them or render them. Are you bad? There's a little cemetery. No, the uh, it's it's not any cemetery you want to go to. It's a pet cemetery. It's pretty gross. I'll tell you what. It's in a location I will not disclose. But it's uh, that? that was on the other day. Was it? My son was like, oh, I have to watch this before I go to bed. I was like, nah, I'll just change the channel. <laughs> Should have made him watch it. It's something about. <laughs> uh, uh, he's a big baby. My, my daughter, on the other hand, she, she likes yeah. being scared, yeah. <laughs> She's got to be this scared when she grabs you and stuff. Grabs the blanket and sits on me and stuff. Are you going to take out its brain? And watch the next one. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you need to go to better sushi restaurants or something. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Are you going to take out its brain? Uh, no. I know you guys might be interested in that, but that is just, frankly, too much work. You need either, like, garden loppers or a bone saw or something, because it has mm -hmm. relatively thick skull and a relatively tiny brain. Oh, kind so, of in your head? Yeah. Oh. Um, how, how big is the size of their brain normally? Uh, maybe about two thumbs. We'll say about that. Their brain? Yeah. So it's not very large. They don't need that much uh, mental faculties to be a sea turtle. That sounds. <laughs> I'm just afraid of dropping my phone in that. Yeah. I am too. You have the new waterproof Samsung? No. <laughs> Even if it was waterproof, I would probably throw it away and just get a new one. So That's the, yeah. clear a spot off right there, and if somebody could grab me one of those basins, those oh, white okay. basins that are... The big white one? Yeah, yeah. give me the biggest one. So this is a female? Nope, don't know yet. Oh, you didn't no. get down there? Not no, but I'm sorry, I just don't know yet. You're going to set stuff in that basin. Yeah, you might want to. Oh, that's good. Did you need pictures of this? Oh, oh. would you mind? I appreciate it. Okay. It's okay. Is that what people eat? Yeah, what's some um, Those pectoral muscles are the biggest muscles, so I would assume, I don't know off the top of my head, like the best the way to prepare. Where's the heart at? I'm holding right it right here. now. Yeah. That's the heart? I, I wish it wasn't so frozen. Uh, it's it's going to be a little bit tough to chop into, and it's not going to look quite right, but you guys will get the idea. What is this? It's right beneath the heart. Gills? No. It is. They breathe frozen. there. So they don't have skills. Sometimes, you, sometimes you're cooked with onions. Oh. Here we go. Frozen. Liver. Frozen chicken there breast. Is. Liver. Okay. Like half frozen. Liver. 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 That's what, yeah, it's like half thawed, half frozen. They can kill the onions. Is the liver normally under the heart? Yep. Probably, Even in humans. Uh, the most nutritious organ. Is like so if you're on Survivor and you the kill liver? something, <laughs> yes. eat the liver. You. You could get by and get every uh, vitamin and mineral you need if you just ate nothing but liver and drank nothing but milk. Which is probably... Uh, I'm just saying all minerals and vitamins are in liver and milk. I would probably uter chunk output. Yeah, it would not taste great. You'd probably get pretty sick doing that. So mom was on to something when she gave me liver and onions. Right. Since uh, this is like a teenage turtle, we should look at the heart to see if there's any scarring to see if it was, oh, and it's heartbroken. Yeah. Uh, 
See if it, see if it wrote any bad poets. So uh, this really sucks, but um, so this is this is actually a bunch of frozen blood in the shape of a heart. So this is the heart going over it. Right here. This is the heart. Yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, that's the heart. So, Right. Oh, man. Look at the vessels coming off. Kids these days. So, uh, these are actually pieces of the trachea that I just cut. But, yeah, these are, you know, you have your atria and your ventricles in the heart, the different chambers. Um, reptiles have three chambered heart, right? Yes. So, Except not, crocodiles, they have four. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's hard. It's, hard. it's just frozen. Um, so that's one of the things, actually, I believe, right? Heart and pulmonary, major pulmonary vessels. Lungs and heart, yes. Yeah. Okay, so for heart, we would say blood in heart, because sometimes the heart is pale and there is no blood in it. Mm -hmm. What's it called when you have uh, not enough blood or no blood in your body? Anybody know? Uh, yeah, that, that would be yeah. <laughs> uh, any, any kind of um, sickle cell anemia. There you go. Anemia. anemia. So if you don't have enough blood in your body, it's said that you are anemic. And sometimes, when, this is very red. Sometimes you open them up and they're very pale. Hmm. All right, so I hate to do this. Or blah, Shelly.